Okay, this one is uh, no doubt one that may cause you problems as Dutch speakers because you have to keep putting your tongue out and pronouncing it properly. This, that, these, those. I think it's worth trying to do that a few times before we start and look at the rest of the um, PowerPoint. Okay, this is like dit or deze in English. You use the word this for something that's very close to you, something perhaps that you're wearing, and only for something in the singular. This enkelfout and heel dichtbij. This dog is happy. This shoe is red, etc. So very close, even something you're wearing. You use this. This cup of tea in my hand is hot. Here are some examples for you. This book I have in my hands is really interesting. So this book, the one I am holding. This is my school. I am in the school. I am showing it to you. This is my school. And I have my friend right next to me. This is my best friend, Shirley. This is her right here standing next to me and I want to introduce you to her. So this, dichtbij plus enkelvat. These, note the difference in pronunciation between this and these. These are for something which are very close by and plural. So dichtbij plus meervat. You see the examples here. These dogs are happy. These dogs right next to me. The next slide has some more examples. Okay, a recap. This enkelfout dichtbij. This is my school. And these meervoud en dichtbij. These earphones are amazing. The earphones that I have in my hands or on my head. These earphones. These shoes are really comfy. So the shoes that I have in my hands or the shoes that I am carrying or the shoes that I have on my feet. These shoes right here next to me. These are not real diamonds in my ring. I'm holding them. I'm showing them to you. I have them right next to me. These dichtbij plus meervoud. And then we have that. It's like the word dat. In Dutch, it's that thing over there, that one I can point at with my finger. Ver weg plus enkelvoud. That dog all the way over there, that dog on the other side of the road is happy. And here are some examples. That, ver weg plus enkelvoud. That dog over there looks scary. That house, look at that house over there, it has a pink roof. Do you like that poster on the wall over there, that one opposite, quite a long way away? That is afstand. And then finally, we also have the word those, and those is something far away and plural. So, ver weg plus meervoud. We just said these dogs are happy. The dogs right next to me over here, look at them. And now we're going to say those dogs are happy. So those dogs over there on the other side of the road, those dogs are happy. Here are some more examples. So those is used for things that are far away and in the plural. Those children outside are noisy. Those shop shoes in the shop window over there are expensive. Those horses in the field all the way over there keep neighing. Neighing is hinneke trouwens. The horses over there, those horses are neighing. Okay, so we've had a look at this and these for close by, this singular, these plural, and we had a look at that and those for far away, that singular and those Plural. I hope it's helped make things clear for you. There are some exercises about to pop up in the bottom left of the screen. Why not give them a try?